Hello and welcome to a special Student of the Gun homeroom. We're going to do a Student of the Gun special edition today. And the reason we're doing a special edition is because we previously had done a, an ammo shortage lessons learned uh, segment. We talked about what did we learn from the ammo shortage? What did we get out of that? And what we should have gotten out of that is any time that there is a, a real or a perceived crisis, people are going to panic buy and you take the word ammo out of ammo shortage and you replace it with food, you come up with food shortage. Now, what did we see this last weekend? As I'm taping this, uh, we just had the massive snowstorms all over the East Coast, and all we heard all weekend long on the news was empty shelves. This store's empty, that store's empty, no bread, no milk, no canned goods, no anything. Well, that fits right in with exactly what we just had talked about, about buy it before you need it, get it in your house so you don't have to panic buy. And you say, well, that's easy for you, Paul, because you know you seem to have it all figured out. Well, I don't necessarily have it all figured out, but what I have been doing for a long period of time is getting just a little bit extra every time you go to the store. Now, what little bit extra can you get? And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Now, obviously you have your normal food, the food that you keep in your refrigerator and your cupboards on a normal basis, and you consume that as you go along. Now, let's talk about long-term or longer term storage, storage foods. Uh, obviously, you have your MRE, your military MREs meal ready to eat. It's got everything you need for a complete entire meal in one little baggie right there. Uh, you can heat it up, you can cook it, you've got a little spoon in there, you've got your seasoning, everything you need. However, MREs tend to be a little bit expensive. Uh, I believe they're running anywhere from eight to ten dollars a piece now, if you can find them, which is pretty pricey for one person to eat a meal. Now, if there's a lot of food in there, there's a lot of calories in an MRE. They put a lot of calories in them on purpose because the guys out in the field, if you're actually living out in the field, you need a lot of calories for energy. If you're just hanging around your house, you really don't need that many calories. And you could legitimately, if it was a crisis situation, you could split one MRE between two people and it would keep you well fed. Uh, MREs have uh, a long shelf life if you just put them in a box and keep them on a shelf. If you take MREs and stick them in your deep freezer, they last for years and years and years. So you can deep freeze MREs. However, they are a little bit expensive. And you may have kids that are like, oh, mom, dad, MREs are gross. Those things are nasty. Okay, we got you covered. Uh, another option is product from somebody like Wise Food Companies. Wise Food Storage sells uh, many, many different types of uh, dehydrated meals and now unlike an MRE where you can just open it up and start eating it the wise food products you have to actually add boiling water to them let them sit and then eat them uh, we've featured these on student of the gun before uh, they're one of our uh, affiliate sponsors. Uh, really good products. Uh, they're relatively lightweight when they're dehydrated. You can stash a whole bunch of these in a pack or in a cupboard or what have you and they're, they're good for years. They last for years. And how about basic stuff? Basic stuff like canned goods. We've got our tactical bacon here from our good friends at CMMG or other canned goods. Uh, canned goods should give you a couple of years, you know, two, three years of useful service on your cupboard. Now there are food uh, such as, there's a, a specialized food, this guy right here. Uh, I'm gonna open it up for you. <laughs> this is our Lucky Jerky. Uh, and it comes in an ammo can, so you've got this ammo for your belly. Uh, this is five pounds of jerky, which if you've ever bought beef jerky before, you know that five pounds is a lot. Uh, usually when they sell it, they sell it by the pound and it's like $29 a pound or you know $30 a pound. Uh, that's five pounds in an ammo can and you could order them directly uh, from them. You can order them from our affiliate page, so check those out. Now how about just say, Paul, I don't want to buy military food. I don't want to buy specialized food. I just want to buy regular old food that's going to last. Well, there's lots of things that you can purchase from your grocery store that aren't specialized prepper foods, but as long as you keep the bugs out of them and you keep them dry, they'll last for a long, long time. They'll last your entire life. For instance, rice, basic old rice. Uh, as long as you keep rice dry and keep the bugs out of it, it'll last for years or decades. Uh, corn is another one, sugar, honey, 
things of that nature, things that you can store that are relatively inexpensive and you can use them to keep yourself and your family alive in the event of an emergency or an extended crisis. So you're not the one that's running out when they say, oh, it's gonna snow or there's ice storm or whatever and panic buying. You don't wanna be the guy that's having to run to the store and panic buy. You already wanna have everything taken care of. So lots of different options for you so you don't have to run into the empty shelves problem. Now, what are we gonna talk, we're gonna give you a uh, recommended reading today. Recommended reading today is the book 1776. A lot of good historical information about the founding of this nation and how it was founded. It's uh, available from David McCullough. This is a hard, hardback right here. You can get it from our Amazon affiliate. We'll put a link up to that. So don't panic buy. Get it now before you need it.